It's a haunting story. A little boy murdered by his own mother and buried in a city park. News 13 aired Tiffany Terribio's confession last week, and it prompted a lot of responses from viewers about another part of this story. The part where three women claiming to be doing good may have made money donated to the boy's funeral fund. Whatever happened to them? Here's News 13's Alex Tomlin. It's the confession that sent shockwaves through our community. A three-year-old boy suffocated by his mother, who then buried him in Alvarado Park, where the body was found two days later. It's heartbreaking. It makes you sick almost, you know, to think that people can actually do that, especially a mother. This woman, who lives nearby and asked not to be identified, remembers the heartbreaking scene and the vigils held in the boy's honor. Police say at those events, Monique, Rachel, and Veronica Lesperance collected donations. This was Rachel Lesperance at one of the gatherings, where she claimed the money was going for a proper funeral. They just came up saying, this is from Sam's Club, this is from Hooters. We had to go get Village and Dairy Queens because they're busy right now. But what happened to those donations is still a major mystery. The boy's family worked with Calvary Chapel to hold a memorial service. The donated money, about $5,000, was never accounted for. Suspecting fraud, police searched the women's home and collected evidence. But police never charged the women with any crime. People are still upset about the missing money. It's just disgusting. I think it's absolutely disgusting. I mean, somebody actually used an uh, innocent little boy's life. I mean, he was murdered by his mother and died off probably an awful death, and they used his death as an excuse to make money. I found an address for one of the women, but when we went there today, the apartment was vacant. Alex Tomlin, KRQE News 13. Tiffany Terribio, the boy's mother, pled guilty to second-degree murder and is serving 23 years in prison.